a, another episode of Data Science Live. I believe today is episode number 33, and um, we're going to switch our subjects around a little bit today. Uh, the last four episodes, we um, worked on a the theme of customer analytics, and uh, today we're going to start an intro into online privacy. And the way we're going to do that is um, we're going to uh, start really just taking a look at websites that you visit and reading the cookies with the R programming language. Um, the library that we're going to use here is going to be the HTTR library. And um, the coding today is really not going to be all that, um, I'd say, ambitious. We're just going to use two lines of code to do this. And, um, and then we're going to go through um, a sample of about, I'd say, a half a dozen websites and take a look at the cookies these websites are setting on you uh, when you go and visit them. And, uh, and take a look at some other things like GDPR laws, which are um, laws from the European Union on um, online privacy uh, settings. And we're going to see if, if those laws are actually being uh, observed. So um, I think I'm going to get started. And the first thing that um, I want to start with is um, I want to start with this Washington Post article. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this URL from this Washington Post article. And we're going to see what cookies the Washington Post is dropping on us. So the command that you're going to just use is the get command from um, this um, HTTR library. And let's run the library first. We got it in here, and then I'm just going to copy and paste this in here. And I'm going to run. And it's um, pulling down everything off of this page. Taking a little while, but um, we got it. We have a list of 10 right here of those objects. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, I'm just going to scroll down here, the cookies. It's a data frame with five records in it. So I'm just going to do, uh, let's see, I'm going to call this WP Cookie DF, and it's going to be WP, I think just cookies. That's it. Okay, these are just our two lines of code that we're going to be using today. And so I'm just going to run this one. And I've got my cookie data set. And let's take a look at this. So, and then what I want to do here is I want to go through some of these cookies here and just talk about them, um, you know, because um, all of them are going to be a little bit different for each of the sites. So um, the first thing that uh, I want to talk about here is uh, expiration. How long are these cookies, um, is the Washington Post holding on to these cookies? So it looks for this cookie, the device type, it's going to hold on to it for um, probably about uh, one month. Um, this Washington Post 8K subs, is that maybe um, taking a look at whether you're a subscriber or not. I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't create the names for these. And, and it look, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks like it has a value of uh, 2021 uh, 0105. That might be a date um, on this. So that's, uh, that's this one. R... LAMPR, again, what, what, uh, what 
it looks like the Washington Post is doing is for each of these cookies, they have two fields um, in it, and these are pipe separated fields that they're going to read um, to see, um, you know, what these, what their um, readers are doing. And then the last thing I want to kind of point out here is WP country. So they're paying attention to um, what country that you're um, accessing uh, the website from. So Washington Post is dropping uh, five cookies on you and um, they're trying to find out. One of the things they're, they're looking at is what device you're coming in on, uh, what country you're coming in from. And then these other three are really kind of internal uh, that, um, that they're, they're reading. So that's our Washington Post cookies. And um, I think the next site I want to take a look at is a bank site. So um, we're going to take a look at uh, Wells Fargo. And I'm just going to say get. Uh, we're going to call this HTTPS and um, www.wellsfargo.com. I think that's... That's the URL. Okay, and I maybe I should just pull this up to make sure that uh, it's being it's really what I want it to be. So let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, that's Wells Fargo right there. Okay, so I'm gonna run this one. Let's see what the banks are dropping on us for uh, cookies. So. W-F, K-I-E, D-F, and we're going to call this, uh, I think this is, this is Wells, did I say this is, oh, I have, I have to run it, right? I'm going to run this one, okay, and then we're going to say wells.cookies, and let's see what they're going to be dropping on us here. Um, Wells, do we have Wells Fargo cookies? So they're dropping five cookies as well, and let's see what they're what they're taking a look at. So, uh, what they want to know about you is um, have you enabled their cookies? And it looks like I have. Um, it's looking for what language um, your browser is in, and that is in English. Uh, oh boy, look, but look at these, you know, look at this expiration date here on this uh, WFA cookie. Um, it's a unique cookie. They're holding on to this cookie for, what's it look like, 11 years? 11 years? Do they really need to? Um, I don't know, right? And, um, so they have another cookie, WCM, Cookie HP. Not sure what that is doing. And then ISD, WWAF cookie. Um, wow, what does that, what is, what is that thing? Um, let's just take a, let's just take a look at that one. So we're going to take out, go down here, WF, Cookie DF. And we're just going to take a look at the fifth five. And is it value? Maybe. Let's see, is it value? Yeah, and we're going to take a look at the fifth one. Let's see. So, uh, Looks like they're using maybe forward slashes here for um, uh, for the values, and it's some type of um, uh, hash uh, hash string that they are encoding and dropping it on you. So you don't know kind of what what this is, but that is um, that's that cookie for Wells Fargo. Dropping five of them on you. Okay. 
let's let's try something else. Um, let's take a look at uh, what do I want to take a look at? Let's take a look at um, an IKEA cookie, and just try. It. Got it here on my side, and I'm going to pull this one up. Okay, so this is interesting here. Now, they're asking you to accept uh, the cookies. Now, this is, a, this is a European company. They have to comply by um, um, EU laws, uh, which the GDPR uh, law is about. And so one of the things is, is you have to have people opt in uh, to accept your cookies. And so here's the button here to opt in to accept the cookies. So I want to I want to take a look and see um, uh, is IKEA complying because I haven't opted in here yet. And it's, it's, uh, and that's why this is popping up. So let's just go to IKEA. And we're going to go get. Let me just Pull that up here again. I want to just copy that. And run it. Okay. And then we're going to do uh, IKEA cookie EF. And uh, we're going to go Right, IKEA, same thing, IKEA, dollar sign cookies. And let's run this. So, interesting. I haven't, if you look here, I haven't accepted any of these cookies from IKEA yet. They're dropping uh, two cookies on me um, with some very cryptic names to them. Uh, ABCK underscore and BMSZ. And then they're throwing in some, you know, rather um, cryptic values on these cookies. And so so they're, uh, they're doing a lot of things before I even accepted these cookies. So this is this is kind of why you want to maybe want to start to pay attention to online privacy because even though it looks like uh, IKEA is complying with the GDPR rules, it might be because hey, I'm in a, I'm in the United States. So because I'm not a European user, I'm not really subject to those laws. And so we can start to throw cookies on him and we don't even have to ask. So that's what Ikea is doing. Kind of, what do I want to say? When you're asking to accept cookies and you're already throwing them on there, that's kind of reducing a little bit of my trust in this company here called Ikea. So, but hey, I'm going to accept these cookies. And, and then I'm going to, uh, uh, now that I've got these cookies accepted, I'm going to rerun this again and see if they're dropping any more cookies on me. So let's run this, um, get this, and then run this again, IKEA cookie DF. Uh, nope, it still looks like uh, they are dropping two cookies on me here, uh, IKEA DF, right? It's still the two cookies. And um, I think that's what, I think that's what it looks like. We'll go here with another example. And the other example I want to pull up here is um, another European company. Um, it's an Italian company called um, Olivetti. And I'm just going to pull it up here. Uh, 
Okay, so um, design meets technology, okay? Uh, so this is Olivetti from the TIM group. Um, okay, this website does cookies, all right? So we're going to accept, well, let's just take a look and see if they've dropped cookies on us to begin with. So um, we're going to call this one, uh, oh, yeah. E-T-I, G-E-T, and I'm just going to copy and paste this one here. I'm going to call it Olivetti.com. And then we're going to do I cookies EF and let's run these and see what we get. So all of that day. And this is Olivetti Cookies DF. So, so this is good. This is good. They haven't dropped any cookies on me uh, because I haven't accepted them. So um, I guess they're complying. They're doing what um, they are supposed to do. Uh, and so let me see if, um, if when I accept this. Yeah, I accepted it. Let's rerun it. Let's reload it, and now that I've got it reloaded, let me see if I get any cookies. No, no cookies. So maybe I'm going to have to, what is this? Why am I not getting any cookies? Um, I should. But maybe it's because, oh, I don't know. I do not know. Maybe um, maybe I might have to restart R or re maybe reload the library. Let's rerun the library again. Let's see if I still get any cookies here. Nope, still zero cookies. So, um, I wish I could say I know what to do here, but I really don't. I'm a little bit stuck why uh, after I accepted them that I don't see any cookies. Um, but um, uh, anyway, um, I'll, have to, I'll have to take a look into that a little bit later and then bring that up uh, in our next episode to see if, I kinda, if I've uh, resolved that. And then the last one I want to take a look at is... I've looked at a lot of companies here, but let's just take a look at governments and see uh, what governments are uh, dropping cookies on you. And um, in this case, I just want to see if the state of California government is going to drop cookies because they've been aggressive on, um, on uh, what I call these cookie privacy laws. So uh, I'm going to see if they're going to drop cookies on me without asking. So let's see. And um, that's get. And I think, let me see, this is, let's copy this. I think this is the URL for California. So yeah, so ca.gov, this is the official California government site that we have, so I'm going to copy that in here, make sure, oh, put the quotes in, get rid of this last quote, and then CA, And let's just run this and see what we get. 
California cookies, zero. Okay, so the, they're not dropping any cookies on me, which is, uh, which is good, uh, I guess. Um, they don't seem to have uh, a need to know who's coming or throwing cookies at to get some info about the users on um, their website. Uh, I guess they don't want to, they don't want to, you know, where they create privacy laws, they don't really want to have like double standards on um, doing, uh, doing things uh, that uh, they're saying that they don't want other people to do. So uh, that's good for uh, state of California. You get a thumbs up on that. And um, I think that's about, that's about all I have uh, for today on Data Science Live. Um, again, this is the, I do kind of want to point out the HTTR. Um, you can go to these websites and take a look at what cookies are being dropped on you. And as you can see uh, from the different examples that we have, um, you're seeing some people do it. You're seeing on these websites that you have to accept these cookies. Um, and you're seeing, kind of get an idea of the types of things uh, that they collect. So you might hear like a lot of things in uh, kind of the general um, news media about um, cookies and dangers and uh, all those type of things. And it might try to get you all scared up. Uh, but now that you know, if you're, uh, if you've got R, you've got HTTR, you can go to the, those websites and take a look at those cookies that they are dropping on you and get an idea of whether or not um, uh, th those companies are doing things that will kind of make you uncomfortable about your privacy, uh, about uh, personal privacy. So that's all we have here for uh, Data Science Live. I hope you learned a little bit here. Um, I think I have about three episodes uh, on online privacy. This was more of an intro. Uh, next week, I'm going to try to uh, put some material about um, online advertising because um, there's, oh, there's all kinds of cookies that get dropped uh, off of online advertising. And uh, that's kind of my, that's where you might want to, might see some of the, some of the things that uh, show up that might, give you some cause for alarm. So I hope to be able to prove, get some examples out of that and prove that. And then the third one uh, that we're going to probably take a look at is maybe we'll go visit some um, Chinese sites and see what type of uh, data that they're collecting on you because uh, supposedly uh, they're going to give that to uh, the, the, the Chinese government. So uh, those are the things that, uh, that we've got, uh, that I've got coming up for you, uh, in the next few episodes of Data Science Live. Um, I'd like to ask you to, uh, please follow my channel and turn on notifications for when I do go live. I appreciate your companionship with me here today. And until the next cast, goodbye for now, dear friends.